My ops broke the book on hanging like my cops. It's all good, fellas, go get your shot box. Philly gas, they say they real, they really rest. This for all my people stuck up in the Philly traps. Wanna save every one of you on a city map. Thinking back, I relate to a Diddy rap. Ain't nobody zero, but I wanna be heard. Put my tears sweat and my blood in these words. Never perfect, I was trying to get better. I had to make a motherfucking diamond for pressure. You know. Boy, Mookie getting money this morning, likely. It's another episode of No Scope TV. Today we got a Philly, PA, underground legend, one of PA's, one of Philly's finest, Mike Voss in the building, man. What's up, bro? What's How good, you doing, bro? bro? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me. Man, thank you for coming, bro. I mean, I, I seen you running around, you dropped that new album. Yes, sir. That thing go crazy, crazy features, crazy beats. I mean, some of your best work, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. But we're going to talk. We, before we get into that, we're going to take it back to the beginning, bro. Oh, shit. When did Mike, what, how long has Mike Voss been doing this? When did he get into this hip hop thing? Bro, uh, long time. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I've definitely, since I was a teenager, I started rhyming as a teenager. Okay. Uh, like, kind of like as a, uh, as a joke, kind of like you know, what I mean, I, I was like doing like like uh, like humorous stuff, but then I had friends that were like, "Yo, you should take this serious." Right. And uh, I was like, "Yeah, you know, I, I'll try it," and it just developed from there. Okay. Um, I, I just I always loved hip hop since a kid, you know. Um, but yeah, I decided to try my hand at it when uh, I was just I saw like yo, it's crazy because of like. He's before my time, you you would think, but I saw Big Daddy Kane. Okay. And I was like, yo, this is the coolest man alive. Yeah. I was like, how can I be? How a, are you? Uh, how can I even be a fraction of that? How so are you introduced like, to Big Daddy Kane? I mean, uh, it's old, hanging with like older heads. Okay. Yeah. Just like uh, being put on, say, and then like jump, jumping down, like going on, you know, going on that online and doing research on on shit that was. Okay. Because I wasn't. What was popping when I was like around that age was like, you know. No shade, but like Ja Rule and uh, uh, you know. You gotta admit though, Ja Rule got some joints. Yeah, right? yeah, but like he he does he does, but like I wasn't really listening to that like yeah. that. And like I I like Fifty and shit now, but back then I hadn't seen anything. I had to, I did, couldn't relate to it. So yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So like I was like, man, I don't know what's out there for me. So I started underground shit, and like old school shit, really appealed to me as a kid. Okay. And that's and that was like the best rappers okay. were from those areas. So. Kane was the one who I was like, man, let me really rap, like, in a non-joke. Like, let me seriously yeah. do this. Because that, that's it for me. I, w I was always good with words. So okay. I just was like, man, let me just pursue this for real. Wow. So it's been a long road. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Big Daddy Kane, that's a that's an OG, OG. For real. Yeah. Like, the GOAT. Yeah. Yeah. The GOAT. But shit, I mean, I know I got introduced to you when I first started hearing the name Mike Voss. I was running around as a rapper before all this, and I heard I heard about you when you was running around with Corfu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corfu, how does that how does that even whole that whole Corfu thing come together? It's like y'all like Philly Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> it's like High ninety of y'all. <laughs> yeah, uh, man, it's like it was uh, it was like a just like a group of Philly rappers, you know. Most of them I, I chill with anyway, uh, and then like that we all did a show together, I think. And it was like, uh, they made a, gr a group chat for everyone involved in the show. Uh -huh. And then after the show, the group chat just stayed because everyone was just talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> so it kind of came out of that. Okay. Uh, it was just a bunch of like, bunch of rappers from the Philly scene. Uh -huh. And that's still like, that's the homies and shit. Like that, the, the <laughs> chat is still alive. Isn't uh, that name like after like a Chinese store or some shit? It's uh, or something like that. Nah, it's actually if I'm, I might be wrong. I know if, if like Trey Digger or someone who's, they're more versed in Corfu Kof, lore. Than me. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it came from, uh, you know, rest in peace, Rich Quick. Shout out to Rich, my Quick, brother. Man. Rich, Rich said 
he, he had a typo. He, he meant to put CTFU, like cracking the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. And he put Corfu. Oh, shit. But it was like Corfu, like that. <laughs> Some like that, I think, is where it came from. And then yeah. it just became a snowball from there. Oh, wow. Corfu Pizza is a real place in Northeast Philly, I think. Yeah, that's I what never I thought it was there. like. Damn, that but yeah, yeah, that came later. That's just a coincidence. But what? yeah, it's from a typo. It's from a, a typo. Oh, okay. Which that, is I mean, that shit is like, yeah. that was crazy. Y'all had like <laughs> every underground rapper that was actually moving at a certain point. Like, that shit was full of fucking yeah, man. beasts, man. Beasts, For sure, man. man. For sure. A lot of talent in that collective. But yeah, so coming up in uh, Philly hip hop scene. Uh, you did a lot of. You, did you start in battle rap? Because I, I seen you like did the one hundred and six Park thing, and uh, how'd you even get in the battle rap? Were you were you a, a battle rapper initially? Uh, nah, initially I was like you know making music, but like it was like really I, I was writing songs. I'll say not really making. I didn't have nowhere to record. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? So battling kind of just happened because it was like oh this is. I started just like beating kids in battles in, in high school. Okay. Left and right. And then, like, from... And it was, like, you know, when you're the white kid... Yeah. It would either be, like, other goofy white kids that, like, would be drunk. Yeah. Rapping at, like, a party or something. Right. Or it'd be, like, real rappers, like, you know. Okay. It would... Uh, that were, like, trying to... But I would, like... Yo, <laughs> in high school, I was, like, literally going to class one day, and this kid came up to me and started rapping at me in the hallway. <laughs> he was like, listen, Tony Hawk. Who ain't... <laughs> So I fried you him. He ain't know you had to yeah. <laughs> had that rap. He just, just it was you. it it really <laughs> happened because it was like my name got out there from doing that. Like I would okay. bat, battle kids at lunch. I would literally cut class to battle for money. Oh, like okay. I just started battle rapping because I I mean I just had a knack for it. Oh, okay. And uh, a lot of these dudes can't freestyle, so I would just have a lot. Of, I I had a gift to to be able to do that. So but so it kind of just started out of necessity because I couldn't even. Re- afford studio time okay so I, would, I was like this is how i get my name out there you know what i mean do a battle girls think you're funny yeah i was like bet let's do this right. and then it just kind of grew and then i i started going to uh black and nobel on uh broad and eerie yeah i would like take the train out there and i would battle there mm. and uh built my name up just winning battles there and then i did grind time back in the day Word. uh and just like caught a few bodies on there and then it was just that's how I got the one of the producers from BET's attention. They hit me up to do the 106 shit okay. uh, through my email. And then uh, I went to audition for it with like 70, 80 other rappers. Oh, shit. Uh, I had to battle like four rappers in one day. Wow. Uh, but, yeah, that's how it happened. It just kind of – I was like, man, I got – at the time, I was like, you know, broke college student, like – you know what I mean? Like, I was yeah. like, man, well, let me, ju- I had no real buzz outside of my area. Okay. I was like, man, let me, you know what I mean? Let me, let me just ride with this. Yeah. So like, you know, it went really well. But then after, after that was done, I didn't really want to pursue battling like that. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to pr- pursue music. Okay. I knew I had a lot of work to do with music, so I wanted to do it. And I felt like if I kept battling, I won't be able to concentrate. Because the battles now, you got to write, like, yeah. a novel about and a motherfucker. And you better do that I'm shit not... a full time like a ninja. Right. And that's, <laughs> I don't know, ain't nobody got time for that. Right. No no disrespect. If you're a full time battle rapper getting a bag off that, that's what's up. Yeah. Battle rappers are some of the best writers living. Yes. With, to be able to remember all that material. Like, I do, I've done written battles, too. I was, like, good at, I was good at those. But each I, round is like a whole song. Bro, it's exhausting. Yeah. yeah. They want you to write nine minutes of material about a motherfucker. And you got to do deep Total. research on a person. Yeah, and that's... I just... I'm not... That ain't me. There's yeah. no one on this planet that I... I don't have that hate in my heart. I'm just yeah. in a better place in life. And, like, back then, I had more of, like, a chip on my shoulder. It's funny, because you said you got to have hate in your heart to do that shit. You do. You really do, because it's like, God damn. Yeah. But like you, you do. You, you gotta have, say some crazy shit I, to a I, I could not, like, I, the only way I would ever, but people ask me about the battle shit all the time. Man. Yeah. The only way it would ever happen is if I get a crazy bag. If someone's like, yo, I'll pay you racks to battle, I'd be like, fucking, I'm fine. Yeah, all right. Yeah, right. But that ain't gonna happen. Or someone I legitimately, like, hate. But it would have to be someone that makes sense. Like, there's local rappers that I know I'd, I'd take their heads off, but it's just like. Yeah. None of them are as popular as me. So like, yeah. what do I gain? <laughs> I mean, what, keeping what it do I gain from it? Being, what do I what do I gain from it? Right. You know, they they gain like even though they would get body, it, they they they, it doesn't really benefit me. So I would need yeah. like I just would need like, the only way I would battle is for money, and I don't want to do anything just for the money. Yeah. So, 
I mean, what's the saying? Uh, if you shoot at the moon, the moon can't shoot back. Then it's a big you deal. You still land amongst shit. the stars. Yeah, some, some right? shit like yeah, that. Yeah. I think uh, <laughs> the the great Philadelphia philosopher Beanie Siegelton <laughs> once said, "The great if Beanie you shoot Siegel. for the moon, you st- Beanie Siegel is amazing." By and the way. he not made a diss, that up. Beanie. It wasn't Socrates and nobody. Please don't hurt me, Beans. That is not a diss. Nah, you're a legend. The great Beanie Siegel definitely. Yeah, yeah. Up. One of the greatest ever to come out of the but city. Even going back to the 106 of Park thing, so. You won that, John. What it took you like five weeks or something? Yes, sir. Five, it took you five yeah. weeks. So do you, you get like a check, or you just get that belt and be on TV? Uh, no, nah, they cut a check. Yeah, they cut a check. That's yeah. decent. But That's uh, decent. you know, could have been. Uh, they got they got bread. Could have been a little more. <laughs> right, right, right. So they put you through the ringer. And just try yeah, to but it was. Something, something. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, <laughs> it was. It wasn't. It not is. Bad. What it is. It is. That it was. What really helped me after that shit was. I, when I, I started doing that was when I was getting a ton of feature requests. Okay. I was I still you know I still do that, by the way, but like people will back then it was like a lot of mm-hmm. people because the you know you got You're some kind TV. of clout yeah, and I was there's some bullshit that I did I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna name names, <laughs> but it was, that's why I said I don't want to do things just for the money. Like, right, right. Now that I'm financially in a much more you know I mean comfortable yeah, place, uh, but living. I worked hard for that shit. So like now that I'm that the good thing about that I'm not flexing. The good thing about getting to that space now is you're less. You're not gonna take a shitty feature. Right. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this song sucks, but I need money. Like, right, but back right. then I was doing hella features, but it was like people were actually, you know, I, I think the money I made from features off the notoriety from 106, that pays off more in the long term than any check BET could have cut. You know okay. I mean? All right. Yeah. So you had that notoriety from that. Then start getting to being a more of an artist yes sir uh so i'm gonna just get into uh projects i even went back to like 2022 the five deadly venoms that shit was hard bro thank you bro produced by uh joel venom yeah joel venom that's my i've known Ryan. him for like over a decade that's my guy and then that uh 2022 you did the uh the highway list that was 2021. Oh, uh, that's 2021. Okay, and then it had the right lane, the middle yeah, lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit, yeah. that shit was dope. That's a dope com- concept. Like, what made you come up with that? Thanks. I'm glad you asked about that. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of that shit. That was like nobody like. That's like it's one of those things when it's like it's so simple. It was like, how did nobody do that yet? Thank that you, shit's man. That fire, bro. That's that's thank you. That's like my favorite ideas I see are the ones where I'm like, why the fuck? It's so I simple and nobody did it. Yet. It's just <laughs> so like for people watching that that don't know, basically like what we're talking about. It's uh, in 2021, I dropped three projects. Uh, the highway list. It was three parts. Each one was only seven tracks. So I, I consider them EPs, I would say. But like they're they're listed under albums okay. on streaming for some reason. But uh, yeah, so basically it's like. A highway, you know, left lane, middle lane, right lane. So people say stay in your lane is what right. they say to artists. Like, I've <laughs> actually been in meetings with labels and A&Rs and shit, and they say, yo, you're too diverse. You're too versatile. Right. And it's what? like, what? Yeah, but they want someone they can just package up real easily yeah. and market as a thing. Suck my Thank dick God all for that. the internet, bro. Yeah, fuck that shit. Now yeah. that the internet's around, record labels are irrelevant anyway. That's like a bank. That's just a bank now. Yeah, that's all they are. Yeah. But, uh, so, uh... I, I took that stay in your lane comment and I was like, fuck that. I'm going to use this to my advantage. So the concept was, you know, the left lane was like all the fast lane. It's all bangers, fun songs, like tra- a lot of trap production shit that might, you know, go in a club or at a party mm-hmm. where I'm still barring out. But like, it's like all, a lot of fun shit. Then the middle lane was like for the ladies. You know, I've always been good at doing like songs for women as well. I feel like, you know, a lot of underground rappers especially don't know how to do that. So right. like I, I would I, it has like smooth R and B joints and then like strip club songs breakup songs so it's the middle lane because it's a few different speeds but it's all towards women okay. and then the right lane is like the more deeper lyrical uh, you know some boom bap shit and like some like more deeper content on there that's like more of like for like the hip hop heads you know okay so I was like man I can appeal I I've always made music in those three lanes right but let me make that the premise of the project you know what I mean so I just the whole year I dropped them i believe three to four months apart and i dropped like nine ten nine videos that year uh just work and all them videos are hard too that's like that's 
people go on my YouTube channel, Mike Voss on YouTube, subscribe. I'm very proud of those visuals, yeah. man. Shout out to Make Wonders, my guy Darrell, and then my guy Liam Rose, who I'm working with now. Yeah. Both of them are fire. Uh, Make Wonders and Liam Rose. Uh, I'm, I take my, my videos very uh, seriously. You know, I, I write the treatments, most of them. I come up with the ideas for them, and then I work with the best videographers in Philly. You know, so I, I just, I'm very proud of, of those videos. So they need more views. They deserve more views, all of them motherfuckers. So yeah. no matter what you're into, if you're into hard shit, you want some thought-provoking shit, you know what I mean? If you're, you're a girl, you want some more smooth shit, I got all that, highway list. Thank you for asking about that shit. I'm proud of that, John. Man, you do got a lot of quality videos, a lot of quality music, man. If Thank you, you. If you haven't already, man, just go on Spotify, di dive into Paul's, <laughs> dive into <laughs> some of that Mike Boss work, bro. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, with ah. cheese, bro. But, <laughs> nah, it's crazy. We, go, we here to talk about today. We here to talk about Ain't Nobody's Hero. Ain't Nobody's Ooh. Hero, but I want to be heard. Yeah, you got it. Nine, seven, Every baby, day, that's, that's my word. word. You got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna start from the top. I'm yeah. fucking. I'm starting from the top. Yes. Who did the artwork, bro? What's the story behind that artwork? The artwork man. is fire. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. It's different, right? Mm -hmm. um, so basically, there's a, a painter I know by the name of Joshua Adair, who I think is he's a musician as well, supremely talented, pure artist. Like, doesn't give a fuck about anything but the art. You know what I mean? Uh, pure soul. And so I've known him for years. I always liked him. He, he made a custom piece for me before okay. where he like did a painting. It's in my crib. Right. In my crib, uh, all the artwork I have is all like the homies. Like I have Rich's, Rich's artwork. Sweet to Rich Quick. Uh, you know what I mean? I got my man Rich Josh's Quick artwork. Browser. I got, it's all my man ASK did a painting. Like it's all people I know. Right. So uh, he made me a custom piece already that incorporated my lyrics and shit in the piece. And it's crazy. And he's got a really dark, crazy style. So it looks like a crazy, like bad acid trip, but like in the in the dopest way. It was like so, the angel and the devil. Yeah, I was like, bro, I need I need this guy to do it. My my vision was, I just told him I want a crazy looking face, but it's like human looking, but it was like crazy, but with the angel and the and the devil, and and then make that angel and devil however you want to make them. Okay. But I need that. So he painted uh, on a canvas this cr that crazy painting. And then I sent it to my graphic designer, uh, Mike Pipitone, a.k.a. Architect, very talented uh, dubstep EDM producer as oh, well. Wow. Okay. And he does all my graphics, my logo and all that shit. So I sent it to him, and then he did, he, like, cut it out and did that background, the black and uh, uh, mineral wash type background with the logo. And it, that's how it came together. And I think, I think it's the hardest artwork I've had. I think it's just different, you know, and it's like, I just, I think Josh brought my vision to life crazy. And uh, I love how he made the devils like a woman. It's like a, a topless woman and the angel or the, the on the other side. It's like an angel of death. It has like a skull for the head. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy looking art. This shit is dope, bro. The whole, shit, the whole situation is dope, man. From the beats to the features. It's one producer on this? Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, thank you for, for you're good at this. Uh, <laughs> uh, Duvac. Uh, so, yeah, that's like my, that's, I love him. So yeah, he, man, that's my brother. Fire, he, he hit me up before I knew him that well and was like, yo, I want to produce an album for you. Like, I want to work. It turned into him wanting to do an album. I was like, yeah, let's do it. So his, his, the reason why we're a great match, we get along great on a personal level, but also he's so diverse too. Like he can kill the joint with Don Michaels. That's a boom bat beat. It's crazy. Sample bass. I just sent him a soul song and he came back with that. Or, but he can also do like trap shit. I did a song Trouble. It's like a crazy trap record. Right. And then like, uh, you know, Sunday morning's a trap record and it changes into like EDM type shit at the end. And then he can do like, uh, you know, smooth R&B shit, feel right. It's like a smooth. So when he's showing, he's like making these beats, he would come over to my crib and sit next to me like we are right now mm -hmm. at the coffee table with his machine. And he'd be like, what are you listening to right now? What are you vibing with? And I'd play him some songs and he'd just make some shit. God damn. And it's... Duvac, so yeah, I believe it's just Duvac on uh, everything. Shout out to Duvac. Man. He is, he he's that, a beast. Thing on that project. He's a motherfucking animal, and he's a singer too. And it's, I gave him a whole interlude to himself on that album uh, that he wrote. You know, what I mean, he produced every beat on there, and he ha he is the reason why the greatest album I've made so far exists. So I, I, I'm forever indebted to that that young man. I mean, if you haven't. 
Just go out and listen to that. Ain't nobody's hero, bro. Yeah, album of the year. Ah, shit, album of the year. Man. Album of the year. That's man, not. That's them. not. That's no cap at all. I ain't heard nothing better yet. You can you can hear the work in that shit, but shout out to the features on that shit too. Not only mm-hmm. a one production, great features. How did you manage to get the ball, the legend, the fucking? He's like Raiden or some shit. Oh. How the f- Baka? How the fuck did you get Baka on a track? That shit is super hard, bro. That's big, bro. Uh, it's just a phone call. Yeah, that's oh. my. That's like my. I, I. So I met Vodka over ten years ago. I met Vodka when I was battling. He hosted a battle. I took some kid's head off. I'm not gonna say his name. He's a good kid. Uh, <laughs> He's but, a good kid. But yeah, yeah. So he hosted that battle though, right. and he was just like, "Yo, uh, yo, you're nice." And I was like, "Yeah, you're fucking Vodka." Like, if y'all don't know, Vodka is, like, one of the greatest rappers of all it's time. It's, like, prolific shit. Like, He's a fucking poet. I, I remember so, his big So, stars. I used to watch him in high school yeah. on the DVD big era. Star, right? Yeah, all that shit. Headshots, yeah. all that shit. And it would be, like, him, Reed, Joey Jahad, Cheek Raw, Shots and, I, like, Slaughter Rico, of course. Yep. And I would, like, study these guys because, you know, I'm learning how to fucking rap better. So I'm like, yo, these are the best. Like, that, right. they were the best. Philly breeds some of the best rappers of all time. Yeah. So Vodka always stuck out to me as being different before I even met him. And then I met him. And, you know, he's a little older than me and shit. But, like, we, yeah. we had a bond. Like, we yeah. just, you know, uh, could very different people, but, like, very similar in some ways. You know what I mean? Fighting similar demons and yeah. just, like, similar sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just love him. And Somebody, and, he needs to get, like, a fucking plaque or some kind of something, bro. Right, he's, he he can tell it better than me, but that man yeah. has been, he's been in the industry. He's been, yeah, but he's I been close. he doesn't get his, like, the way he raps, bro. Right. Like, when he first did the, the fucking, even the big star shit, like, I still remember that shit from, like, the first day I seen it. Like, this shit is, yeah, like, man. this shit is, like, mind-blowing, but. That's like there's a in the in my verse that song you're talking about May 30th yeah. it's cut into two halves. So like the first half I talk about like police brutality and gun violence in Philly, but I wanted to uh, Duvac already had that beat switch into a soul sample. Oh, okay. So I was like, yo, I want to have a black artist on this. I don't want to just just me okay. talking about black issues with my white ass. I, actually, I was like, I should have I should have a black artist, and he was the first person I thought of. I was like, this man's been through hell. I actually want to speak need him about on it. That track, May 30th. That's one of the standout tracks on your project too. Thank you, bro. Uh, even Very besides the one. the vodka feature, which is like, what the fuck? He left Earth. Yeah. Like, that's what, what yo. I, that's the thing. When I when I came over, we went to my shout out to someone, another yeah. legend. We went to someone's uh, studio in in, in uh, I think it was in North, and uh, yo. He was like, he was putting it together there. We were just like smoking, like, yeah. they were playing chess or some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so yeah. sad. <laughs> He's one of a kind. But right. so he goes into the booth and just faces a blunt while he records the fucking verse. Wow. And while he brought me in with him, he was like, Foss, I want you to tell me if I'm fucking up cool. And I was like, I'm not going to tell you that. If you just- <laughs> <laughs> but okay. But yo, he bodied it. I think it was like two takes he was done. Okay. And if you listen to the verse, it's not a short verse. Like, no. And he runs it. And I think I think he really sounds good over that, like, uh, no drums, like, yeah. Griselda-esque. You know what I mean? Like, he he, he's, he can sound good or whatever, but, like, him on that is... To get everything right in the world, they need to give Vodka his just due. Like, he needs yes, to be up there. Give him his flowers. The, like, he needs to be doing, like, Jimmy Fallon with the Roots or something. Like, yeah, he's incredible. He's one of them people, like, what he's the incredible. fuck? You and he's, but he's an example. You asked about the features. Like, yeah. it, like I, I, y'all, this is all the homies. Like, there was no one on this album that I was, like, hadn't already... You know, I mean, they was all, every single feature. You know, I don't do it's features when on my projects are not business transactions. It's okay. just it's just me hitting up. You know. Yeah. I, you know, like when I who else is Don? You know oh, what yeah. I mean? I'll, yeah. I'll talk about that. The Reaper, right? Yeah, Shit's yeah. Stupid, bro. Thank you, bro. Stupid, yeah, Don. Uh, Don, I've known Don for years. Uh, we've always had mutual respect. I've always thought he was one of the best out here. Uh, and we've done some shows together and shit. And we've always talked about working. It mm-hmm. just we're both, you know, with schedules lining up, and it just hadn't come together. And then when we were making this project, him and Duvac are actually uh, pretty tight. So okay. Duvac was like, because Duvac's a Jersey boy, right. and Duvac was like, "Yo, uh, 
let's get Don somewhere on this project. Like, right. he calls them tracks because he knows <laughs> them from back in the day. But All right, right here. Tracks yeah. trigger, yeah. But uh, the name change is a great idea, Don. You're killing it. Uh, <laughs> I love that, dude. But so, uh, Dubag was like, yo, where can we fit him in? And I was like, bro, Don don't really rap on Boom Bap anymore, but I know he knows how to. Right. And I don't really rap on Boom Bap that much anymore, but I know how to. Let's do a Boom Bap record together and push ourselves. So I sent him the beat. I kind of was half a half. I was like, he might be like, nah, I don't really. He was like, yes. Like, I want. I, I ain't had a Boom Bap beat in a long time. And he fucking ate that shit. He Jeez. ate that shit. That, the Reaper's a very personal song. Yeah, It's, it's a it's very uh, it's raw, it's personal joint. Like, bro, this is some high-level, high-quality music. You can tell that you've been around and you've been doing this shit for a while. Yeah, like, man. This is not... It's like... <sighs> this shit sucks because... You can't find people... You can't get people to, like, appreciate this shit, bro. It's like, this game is fucking stupid, See, I don't... Bro. I don't... I, I don't... No, I'm sorry to cut you off. Uh -huh. I, I don't... I don't look at it that way, though. Because okay. I do have people that appreciate it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I just did my album release last week, and we packed that bitch out. That oh, shit was out to the full. album release. That, that shit was I'm full. Mad, I'm mad I missed that shit. It's all good. Yeah, no, you already, but you yeah. reached out to me beforehand and shit. Yeah. Like, and you didn't have to do that. You know yeah. what I mean? The fact that I appreciate that, that you actually, uh, like, no, no. gave a fuck. You know no, what I mean? I, I give a fuck about people who really out here doing it, because I was an artist. I still am an artist myself. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I appreciate somebody that put in bars and work. Because there's a lot of people out here that's getting recognition that just, like, they'll go to the studio and record an album. But, bro, I don't. And not write one right, thing. And, no yeah, concept, and no you nothing. can tell. Yeah. And it's like, I don't really care about that because it, the people that they're targeting isn't who I target anyway. Right, right. I don't make music for Gen Z on TikTok. I do right. not. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have Gen Z that likes my music, and that's what's up. Shout out to every single one of them. I love them. But it's just, if some kids on TikTok, like, sees my shit and it's like, this, 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 I don't give a fuck. Right, if right, you're, right. If your nuts ain't dropped, you're not qualified to speak <laughs> of what I create anyway. Straight up. Right. Uh, so, like, I don't really... When I see what you're talking about, which is definitely happening, but when I see these artists with, you know, like, they even got an eighth of the talent I do, and I see them, I don't look at it and go, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I look at it like, who cares? I don't want to be right. that anyway. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to be that. Like, you're Hell not, no, you're not no. no bubblegum motherfucker. So, no. it's like... I don't really, it doesn't factor in to me at all. Like, okay. and when I do see one of the homies or I see like an artist who I like actually respect rising up, I love it because it right. motivates me. It goes, oh, right. that means I can do that. Right. Like if he's right. winning and like he's making some shit that's like actually dope, mm -hmm. like that, I can do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's right. just finding that like. I like a lot of new shit. I listen to a lot of dumbass shit. shit. I'm not uh, even going to lie. <laughs> but it, there's a time and place for different shit. Right, you know? right. Facts, facts, facts. Shit, I mean, you've been running around the city doing your thing. You've been a part of a lot of shit that goes down in the city, too. I see you opened up for a lot of, uh, like, artists that come, big artists that come to the city. Yes, sir. Like when it's a big show, you do a lot of opening and shit. Uh, I saw through my... Uh, Scrolling and research. Yeah, you opened up for Pusha T. Oh hell yeah! And it was a yeah. uh, at the block. Yeah, at the block. Man, shout out to that man. That's closed down, right? Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. To RIP, probably man. the best like that that size venue, the best yeah. best of that size ever in Philly. Yeah, it's one of the great. Shout out my man Chris. But Perella. you opened up for Pusha T, and you said yeah, uh, man. It was a story behind that, right? What were you talking about? Uh, it was like uh, somebody in the audience. Was oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, can you uh, tell Nardwar, me about that, man? Nardwar over it here. It was fucking Nardwar. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you the black Nardwar. I, black I don't know why. <laughs> That's what I'm going for, man. I'm saying shout out to You're Nardwar. You're Mike Boss. We have to know. Uh, no, we, <laughs> Nardwar. <laughs> he got the facts out the, out the abyss. Yeah, actually, yeah. So I opened for Pusha T, who, by the way, is anyone that really knows me knows the top five that are alive to me. Right. Push is one of the greatest to ever do it. I think the way he structures his shit, the way he can talk about one subject this long and it's still interesting. Right. You know what I'm saying? Other than maybe Raekwon, I don't think anyone else can do that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? As far as the coke rap. He one of them. Yeah, he's amazing, bro. Yeah. So I was hype as shit on that show. I'm having the, you know, the time of my life. You know what I mean? I, I think that was like 2014, something like that. So uh, I'm doing my set and I'm doing an acapella and this kid is heckling me. 
like I'm doing my acapella and he's like, you know, I don't even remember, but he was like, you trash or something like that. Damn. But he, I ignore it. And then he does it again. So I was like, all right. I was like, do you rap? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, of course you do. <laughs> so I was like, yo, you going to fuck up my show. Now you're going to be a part of it. Come on stage. I was like, let's battle. So his, you know, his friends are like, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so he gets, uh, he gets on stage and he said, he's like, yeah, it's my birthday. Oh, I was like, why'd you tell me that? <laughs> like, oh, I'm taking you know what I mean? It's your birthday. Yeah. So nah. So I was like, great. So I was like, you know, something about you ain't a rapper, you ain't hit a studio. It's your birthday, but your mother is a big booty hoe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, so, you know, shout out to Two Chains, but like, it was just mm-hmm. like, you know, it's your birthday, but I forgot to wrap it up. You know what I mean? Shit, like, like just little. I just killed him. Yeah. Like, I embarrassed him, made fun of his whole fit. And then, like, he, like, left, and I didn't see him again. For He, like, was in the front row, and then, like, he got off stage and just disappeared. <laughs> he went home. <laughs> don't don't interrupt my show. I will embarrass you. I will outwit you. I, I'm, you're not going to – it's not going to work out. Like, if you don't like my shit, you're in, you don't have to. But yeah. don't say anything because I, I, I will ruin your night. <laughs> That's still true. And it ain't – I, I, I wouldn't battle now, though. This yeah. was, like, not that long after 106. But, like, these days, if someone heckles me, I'm not going to battle you. Like, I'm just going to, like, talk shit to you. Yeah, because I was and, watching. And, and then be, like, security, get this motherfucker out yeah. of here. Yeah. I was watching some of your battle drawings and shit. Like, after the battle, did they try to kind of, like, put you in that lane, like, all the battle leagues and shit hitting you after, up? Oh, yeah. I got a, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to go, like. But, yeah, I had a major battle league, uh contact me about doing like a, a battle on uh that shit's rough bro i didn't i didn't go uh yeah. i just i just i've been deep enough doing the grind time shit like deep enough into the battle scene yeah. where it was like enough like i, I already was like that shit's and boxing bro i i love you can't play with that i shit. love the culture of battle yeah league, you know what i mean i still watch battles but like i was like man rappers regular rappers have enough ego Right. Like when you're battle rapping, it's like now every time you have a conversation with a battle rapper, it's like I know they're thinking of a bunch of shit about me right now. <laughs> right, so, right. And like it's uncomfortable. Yeah. And yeah. it's just like also ain't no women at those events. No. Nah. You know what I mean? And uh, so I, I you won't, I can't see me there. Yeah. You so gotta, like yeah. I just it's just, <laughs> but it's just it's there isn't. Yeah. So I was just like, man, this isn't really my scene. Like, right. It's just I, not. I feel, you know what I'm saying? And I'm. You. I'm not. It's just a lot of like weird fake tough guy energy too. Right. Like, like a lot of gun, gun references. Got a lot of gun hands. A lot of hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot, a lot of, of gun, gun hands. Yeah, but no one ever does anything. I'll lift it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure you do. Sure you will. I got the. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of one of these. I ain't yeah. never seen nobody hold a gun yeah, like this. Yeah. What kind life. of gun is it? Like? <laughs> yeah. Are you, you have a, it's just but, like shout out to the battle rap. I don't want no fucking problems, bro. Yeah, I'm just saying. That's all I'm doing. I'm just saying. That's it. I've, I, but I've, when I was battling, I was bat- I was in the fucking trenches though. Like when I was in Broad and Erie battling. Like, but I had, like I said, I had hate in my heart. I yeah. had like an anger. I had like a, you know, I was broke as fuck. You know what I mean? And I was just like, man, I'm. I need to build my name up. I don't want to. I, I had a taste of working an office job, and I, that shit ain't it. <sighs> So I was just like, man, you know, I worked in a warehouse. I, I trapped. I did all that. I was like, I don't like any of this shit. I just want to rap. So I was just like, I need to battle. So I had that hate in my heart. And also, like, everyone underestimated me. Mm-hmm. Like, especially back then. Right. Like, you know, not being the only white boy is one thing. But then it's like, you know, I was like white, white. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, I wasn't like wearing the fitted with the big T-shirt. Right. And right. I never dressed <laughs> like that. I always thought that was a little, like, uh, Malibu's most wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, like, I never really dressed like that, but, like, that, so I would, like, come out there and, like, be an underestimated fuel. It still does. It fuels me. Mm. You know what I mean? I try yeah. to always rap like the Renners do. So, like, you know. That'll get it done. Right. That'll so, like, that's. Done. But, yeah, like you said, it ain't nothing to play with. So, that's why I don't want to battle again unless I'm, like, in. Especially like, I got to be into it. Because it's like, disrespectful. Yeah, I you like, half-ass it. I like, watch battle rap. I'm like, how do you not fight this person after this? Yo, <laughs> bruh. So crazy. Like, bro. it basically like, spit on your dead mother's grave. Yeah, see, I never. I, that's another thing. I never did that type of shit. Like, yeah. that's the, I feel like that's the other thing. If I did, like, one of these written battles and some weirdo was like, I found out your grandma died in 19... <laughs> and, then, like, right. and then I dug her up and I raped her. And I put, right, like, what Like, I'm, I'm punching you in the throat, right. pussy. Yeah, like, you right. know... 
I don't care about the I don't care about like, the contracts. How I don't do you care. just stand there like? Yeah. All right. Or the like when they put hands on people. Yeah. Or let's if, like, even if you can whoop me, I'm still swinging. Like you know, your girl never three, in your life. <laughs> your girl yeah. had three abortions. Like yeah. God, come on, bro. Super. Talk, it's also like now it's like lot. like you're a weirdo for doing all that like type of research. Right. Like like somebody go to your MySpace page and go get some shit. So weird. <laughs> This shit is crazy, man. But you've been around for a while. <laughs> you've been killing the independent scene. Uh, you ran around Corfu. And we spoke on Rich Quick earlier. Do you got any, like, Rich Quick stories that you haven't really talked about that you could talk about? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> for, for, for months, I thought Rich Quick was married. Because he had the, <laughs> until I, I I forget exactly how it happened, but I like fucked up. I was just like, uh, I was talking about how I was like at the time I didn't want to get married. I mean I still don't, but I was just like, uh, I was just like, uh, man, like uh, you know I don't know if marriage is for me. And uh, Rich was there, and I was just like, I mean, how's it working out for you? I didn't know him that well at the time. I right. liked him, you know. Right. What I mean, we always got along, but I was just like. Said something like that, and he was just like, "Motherfucker, I'm not married." <laughs> I was like, "What's with the ring?" And then he explained like it's it had a different meaning, you know. Was he married uh, to hip hop? Nah, no. <laughs> Riz was not corny. Nah, really. nah, he wasn't, man. This is for I the game. Him all I'm the married time, to bro. the game, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was like a per- personal. Uh, you never know though, because he popped off from like we kind of from I'm from like the next town over from him. Yeah. But like I used to always run into him like, and he used to be drop drills on me. It's a real walk one. Walk away like. He's a real what one. The fuck, bro. Like he was like a fucking. He's a real <laughs> he was, one. He was like a monk kind of like he was like. You yep. need to do this, this, this. Very smart and then guy. Just walk away. Yeah. Very smart dude and a good dude. Yeah. Like, he's he, he, cool as shit. He actually gave a fuck about yeah. about people. You right, know what I mean? Right. A true. A true. You don't care about. It. No, man, bro. That's what. That's this is. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Content. You can never do as I say, thing. not as I do, you kids. Can do the, you can do the chug contest. And no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> you just the said neck though. The, hey yo. Oh, hey yo. Hey, pause. Yo. All that shit. But we in Philly, not New York. Nah, it's 2023. We, 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 we can resume. It's 2023. We don't need to pause anymore. Yeah, no, don't need we to can pause. Do it. pause. We can do it. Shout out to LMNOP. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. <laughs> I don't want no troubles. I don't want no troubles. But uh. Yeah, don't roll me into this shit. <laughs> But nah, man, what can we expect from Voss, man? What can we expect coming soon? We got the Ain't Nobody's Hero Project. That's yeah, yo, crazy. first and Are foremost, for everyone uh, everyone watching, man, if you haven't heard it, go stream it. And, and stream it as a project if you have time. You know what I mean? You're working around the house or you, you got to uh, drive somewhere. You got 45 minutes to kill. L- try to run the project as a whole. Cause you can listen to the song separately. Very cohesive. I want, but thank you, bro. I wanted it to be a cohesive front to back project. Cause I feel like a lot of rappers, they don't do it anymore. But they say it's because oh, no one cares about albums. But it's because they can't. They can't do mm. it. They just know how to make singles, two minute songs for TikTok. I make art. What I make, if you wanna, if you wanna listen to something that is from front to back, an honest piece of work from someone that's not trying to act like he's a role model or act like he's better than you, I'm right here with y'all. I deal with demons too. You know what I'm saying? I have all types of issues myself, and I deal with them the best I can. But I still talk my shit on that project too. It's a balance, you know. That's what the that's what the, the angel and demon is. It's like. I'm nobody's hero. I just want to be heard. When Puff said that line, that shit stuck out to me forever. I had this idea. Nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. Right. I had the idea for this album title for like three years. I just didn't like, you know, know where to put it. And then when I linked with Duvek. So anyone that is watching this, go stream that shit. Album of the year. No matter what kind of hip-hop you're into, I got all types of shit on there. And I feel like what's beautiful about it is the last thing I'm talking too much. The most beautiful thing I'm going to say about the project, though, I really believe this, is you can go into there, you could be a raw, rugged hip-hop head, but you'll hear a different sound on there, but you're going to fuck with it because I'm still barring mm. on every fucking song. Mm. Every song, the writing is the most important shit. Mm. So it's like, even if there's, you can go in there as like you're in the mainstream shit. And you're still going to, you know, I got melodies and catchy hooks and, and great singers on there and all that shit. But it's also like, oh, damn, this boom bap shit is actually good, though. Like, I fuck with this, too, like the Reaper or something like that. Right. Or you go in there no matter what you expect. And I feel like you can get hit with this curveball on that project because it's so diverse. Mm. I'm so proud of that. I'm, I'm going to be dropping. Uh, I got a new video about to come out. 
couple new videos. Uh, we're still working on content for it, so I want to push that shit for a while. Right. You know what I mean? That shit's good music, bro. You can. That's the shit that you that you need to push, man. Thank you. And people need to tune in, man. Ain't nobody's hero. All streaming platforms, man. Oh, you asked if I was touring. Oh yeah, yeah, tour, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, no tour right now. Um, I would love to though, uh, but I'm just working on like spot dates. Um, I've got a festival I'm supposed to be playing in Atlantic City. They're rescheduling the dates for it. Uh, okay. But as of now, it's like the baby, Bia, Freeway, oh, shit. Beanie. That's, a, that's some big shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, Music Soul Child. So, I mean, I don't know if all those artists will still be on it because they're rescheduling the date, but okay. that'll be in Atlantic City. Uh, and I'm working, I'm open to spot dates anywhere. Like, as uh, long as if someone, like, on some, like, you know, let's just talk about it and work something out. But I'm definitely trying to tour this new material because yeah. I did the, the album release last week. And it was like the first time I performed any of these songs. I did the, pretty much the whole album. I cut like three songs, but I did the whole album other than that. And it was like, this is my best shit. Yeah. Like, not only like songwriting wise, but performing wise, like right. live. So uh, I'm trying to do that as much as possible. That's so, dope. Yeah. That's fucking dope, bro. Whoa. Hit me up on the gram or like uh, on the gram, you can get my email as well. Anyone that watches this that might know a promoter or is yeah. one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm sure, glad you brought sure. that up. Yeah. Um, also, before I get you out of here, we got to do the controversial. Oh, shit. The shit that's going to get you chased around on Twitter for the next couple weeks. Oh, no. We need that top five of Philly, man. Top five oh, of Philly no. hip hop, bro, before we get you out of here. I don't even do Philly top Philly hip hop, bro. All right. We do Philly No, I mean, I'll try. R&B. I don't care. I'm not afraid of the politics or anything. Uh, we're talking about just, rappers. Just for you. For you personally. Yeah, so this is... Your this will be, opinion. and I'm freestyling this because I don't have, I don't have a top five in my head. Yeah. So this is the top five Philly rappers that I listen to the most and like that impacted me the most. Okay. Like, not including myself because I would 100 percent put myself. <laughs> I'm not joking. I truly believe that. I think yeah. I've, I've become. It took a long time of working, but I think I've Honestly, become you one of the fucking doing best. This if you don't, if you don't believe think that, yeah, yeah, like, what yeah. are you doing? Right. Um. But excluding myself, I would say uh, all time. Uh, I'm putting Vok in there. Vok, man. I'm putting Vok. Vok, boss guy. Hey. One of the most unique artists I know. Uh, I'll put, I'm putting Vok in there. Um, more bias, I'm going to put Reef in there. Mm. Uh, that, that, that's Reef that's my close. guy. That's my guy as well. But one of them too. all bias aside, he's phenomenal. Like let's let's you know give credit where it's due. That, that man is that there. man's one of the rawest MCs I've I've met, and he puts on an amazing live show. For sure, uh, crowd control is on a bean every show. I've never seen him like blow it ever. Like it's just like yeah. doesn't miss. So I would say him, and we have a hard ass record together on the highway list. By the way, okay, it's called Personal. Right, uh, right. Oh yeah, that yeah. shit is hard. Definitely. Uh, so I would play Bach and Reef. Uh, and now we're talking out of Philly. Or, no, nah, I was talking about just, yeah, just Philly. Just yeah, Philly yeah, yeah, out of Philly. Vok Reef. Uh, damn, bro, there's so many. Uh, uh, I would say, I would put, I would put, I would put Free. Uh. I think Free is an innovator. I think Free has one of the most unique styles. And I love his tracks. Like, I just like his music yeah. a lot. And he's just yeah. a cool dude. Uh, Definitely, I put spirit. free in there for me personally. Um, this is hard, uh, man. I love Rico. What number are we at? We got we got four? three. This Rico will probably be four. Okay. We're talking pure spitters. I put yeah. Slaughter Rico in there. Oh yeah, he's phenomenal. A million dollar, what is the five dollar nigga with a body on my? Car. He's phenomenal, bro. Uh, he's incredible to watch work. Uh, and then it's a toss up. It's either like beans. Mm. Beans or, uh, or oh no, bro! It's thought, it's thought. God. Yeah, thought. I love beans, but it's thought. I think I gotta change this question to it's like thought. a top ten because Philly got all aliens, bro. I would say yeah. If right, <laughs> right now I would say Vok, Reef, Reek, uh, Free and Thought. Shit. But that could change in five minutes. Imagine the cipher. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we in here. Mike Voss, you know what I'm saying? Ain't Nobody's Hero album streaming everywhere right now, man. Tell the people where they can find you, bro. 
Yes, sir. Uh, you can find me, you know what I mean, uh, at who is Mike Voss on anything. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. I know they got the new Insta Twitter or whatever the fuck. Who even it's knows? all types of shit. Whatever. All uh, that shit. Who is Mike uh, Voss? Two S's. What's the boy named Zuckerberg and uh, Elon Musk supposed to be doing an MMA? Yo, I, th- I, don't, I got a theory. I don't think either of them are human. Bro, I don't. I think, think so Zucker. Either. I think they're like androids or aliens. You see, uh, Zuckerberg they're too weird. On, I mean, not Zuckerberg. Actually, was it both of them? I think they both went on Rogan before, right? I Joe don't know. Rogan. Uh, I, I know. know like, I know Elon Musk did. Yeah, and he's just like, like he's he like smoke question, weed on it, and he has yeah. to like download the question first, and yeah. then he answers it. So, yeah, because he's processing. His yeah, chi- his chip <laughs> is processing. <laughs> yeah, like he's I don't think they're like, real, yo. I don't know. I'm I don't not sure. I don't think they're real. <laughs> nah. Especially all the shit that they're doing. They're probably those aliens that's been turning up in Las Vegas. It's all an experiment. Shit. Yeah. But, uh, um, simulation. Yeah, facts. But, uh, yo, so, uh, who is Mike Voss on everything? Um, and yeah, you can go on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, whatever you use. I'm also on Bandcamp if you want to support and buy some music. Yeah, believe sure it or not, believe music. it or not, people still buy music. So, the streaming shit is retarded. You so can go buy on Bandcamp. MikeVoss.bandcamp.com if you want to, to buy this. Also, I, I have merch available. I still have some hats available. I got, I'm got. i working on some new merch as well to tie into the album. So I've got some new shit coming, but i uh, got some hats available and uh, posters available at the Mike Voss store. You can find all this easiest place on my Instagram. Just click the link on my bio, and all this will be right there for you. Mm. Um, man, so yeah, man, I'm just, uh, as far as what's next, we're just going to keep uh, pushing Ain't Nobody's Hero because it deserves that. You know what I mean? We're just going to keep putting out more content. Uh, we're just going to put out more videos, put out more. I got a few things up my sleeve besides music videos. So yeah. we're going to keep dropping some more shit. I'm going to keep my foot on these motherfuckers next. Uh, I think I'm making the best shit of my life right now. You know what I mean? I feel invigorated. That um, shit is hard, bro. Thank you, Make bro. Make sure y'all go listen to that shit, bro. Yes. If you like good music, bro, don't just be clout chasing it. Like, oh, no, no. Right. Like, he yeah, yeah. Song with me. Well, actually, if you cloud chase, go ahead. Keep, stay over there. Keep yeah, cloud right, chasing. Right, right. We don't want you anyway. We don't want you. Like, if you, if you want to, if you listen to people because of the amount of followers they have, you're too stupid to even listen to the shit. <laughs> right, right. That the shit pisses me off. But bro. if you snap out of that and you want to come to the light, you know what I mean? We right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so ain't, ain't nobody's hero. Shout out to Duvac forever. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be her. Yes, sir. Man, this has been another one. This your boy Moogie getting money. That's more than likely. We got the homie Mike Voss in the building, and we out this bitch, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Man, thank you, bro. Thank you. Yo. I'm the man with the iron, leave them all ghosts. Throwing shots, eyes closed. That's a no scope. That's a no scope.